We're joined by Francis DeLuca. Francis, I'm on the website. I've got to pull up uh, the bad bill of the week here. Haven't even gotten into this. Uh, let's talk about uh, what's taking place in, uh, in, in Raleigh. You have the bad bill of the week. Let's talk about this. Well, uh, Lockwood, as you know, we've been running a bad bill of the week. We've done 32 of them this year. Now, a lot more than 32 bad bills in the legislature, but we, over the course of the time, picked out 32 of them. And now it's time for the listeners and for people on the, to go to our website and pick the bad bill of the year. We're having a tournament like the NCAA tournament where we have brackets, and we're going to eliminate as we go along till we get one bill that's going to be the bad bill of the year. All right. Uh, now, if anybody wants to, uh, you know, sort of get involved in this, and, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, uh, the, the uh, subjects are, of course, uh, uh, well, uh, Look, we've got everything up there. It, like the first eight bills we're looking at range everything from the Starfleet Academy, mm-hmm. energy efficiency, light rail, sick days, cyberbullying, honors PE, internet libel. It covers the you know, it co- covers the gamut. But if they want to go, if they go to our website, the homepage, nccivitas.org, right there on the front page, they will find a um, link right on the front page that says vote now for the ba- and bad bill of the year. Now, in the process, how do they how do they vote? Uh, you've got because you've got it broken down by categories, right? No, actually it's by brackets. Well, brackets, I'm sorry. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, how what's what's how does it how does this work? You, you you've got to select each bracket and you've got pick from each bracket. Well, this time all, all we're having is the first round. We're going to do um, four rounds to narrow it down from 32 to 16 bills. So this is the first round with eight bills. So they'll just go on there, and they'll see it, and they just click on which bill they want to vote on. Whichever one they click on, that's how they vote. And um, if they want to go see what the bills are about, they can go down below. Well, they, can that, actually, they can actually click on the bracket itself. Right, down below. They click on the bracket, and mm-hmm. that will tell them what the bill they're they're voting on is about there'll be a pop-up thing comes up and then they can click and look for more information if they want to and they can read the original bad bill of the week right up now um what you know what's the process after this after this voting is done when is the uh, when's the next round well the each monday will start a new round so we'll okay. have four weeks to eliminate it um down to 16 and then another you know it'll be just like the NCAA tournament will take another two weeks to get it down to eight and then four to we'll be done by Thanksgiving with the voting. All right. Now, I'm already looking. I'm seeing that you've already got first round of voting. Is this is this the conclusion of the first round of voting? I'm oh, gonna... no. We're just in our first day. This okay. is going to run all the way till next Monday. We'll put up the next bracket. Okay, because we have uh, we have um, let me see. Uh, you've got 510 votes. Uh, on uh, round one, number one, round one, number two, three, and four. Okay. Um, for example, the Starfleet Academy Energy Tax com- uh, Commissions, uh, the Internet Libel, Honors PE. I love that one. By the way, folks, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we have, um, what was it, the uh, legislative from um, Oslo, I mean Orange County and one other, they want to establish a physical education honors program. That's right. They, they I love it. thought it should be... Um, Develop or identify academically rigorous honors level courses in health and mm-hmm. physical education. And the other one, and I forgot about the Life Science Development Corp uh, Act. Um, well, that ahead. was even better. They wanted to give the ability to um, tax or to give tax power to nonprofits. That would have allowed a nonprofit to issue um, bonds, basically. Great concept. You know, it is interesting. Some of these bills, and by the way, folks, if you haven't taken the opportunity to do this, go to the website, www.nccivitas.org, and that's N-C-C-I-V-I-T-A-S.org. You can log on and instantly uh, begin your, uh, your Bad Bill of the Week uh, uh, voting. And you, as I said, the first round, we've got rounds one, two, three, and four. Am I correct on this one? Correct. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've got a total of eight bills that are involved in this first round. And you get to vote. Right now, we've got over 500 votes in some areas. That's right. People really like to that, – that Star Trek one's kind of running away with the um... – uh, Okay, that's in, that's in round one. 
uh, and, and bracket one, I guess you'd call that. Yeah, that's, um, that's right. And then you've got, of course, uh, bracket two, light rail and mandatory sick days. I was really kind of surprised by that. I thought the light rail, you know, that's personally, I like, I think the light rail's the worst building. The yeah, I don't know. That's a hard one to say. If you're a business owner, those mandatory sick days might be well, pretty hard. You know, it, it's interesting. The cyberbullying as a misdemeanor. I thought that was interesting too, because uh, the potential there is, um, of course, moving into an even deeper uh, uh, legislative and or judicial uh, intrusion into every everyone's lives. It, th- there are, I, I think, out of this. And let, let me let me ask you. Uh, Francis, Francis DeLuca, of course, director of the North Carolina, J, uh, pardon me, of the JWP Civitas Institute, nccivitas.org is the website for this. Um, what is the purpose of the bad bill? Well, uh, like uh, a br- bracket, uh, I'm sorry. But, well, of the bracket is to kind of make people more aware of what their legislators are doing. Some of these bills passed, a lot of them didn't, but. Uh, the, the tournament is just another fun way to try and get people paying attention to what the legislature is doing. Mm-hmm. Every one of these things we have up there is a real bill. We did not make these up. They were all introduced by legislators, and some of them actually passed the legislature. The budget, for instance, did pass the legislature. And, um, you know, we started this bad bill of the week to point out some of the ridiculous things and also to educate people. And now we took it to, at the end of it, we kind of got to where we had 32, and we go, well, what do you do with 32? And someone said we should pick the, some people. I think you may have actually said that, picking the bad bill of the year. Right. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm real intrigued with this because in the process, it will, I think, educate uh, so many of the uh, voters out there what's been going on in Raleigh. And I, I think that by seeing some of these bills that, Quite frankly, I'm, I'm confident many legislators are embarrassed by. But I think it's a great opportunity to see well, what is the, I was going to say what is the thinking, but maybe in some instances what should have been the thinking but wasn't when it came to some of these bills. All right, Francis, uh, next week there will be another set. Uh, what happens to these four, these eight bills? They go into a separate bracket for and the winners in each bracket, then they'll be. The, the, the winners in each bracket advance. So okay. we'll have, out of this eight, we'll have four. Next week, we'll have another eight new ones. At the end of that week, those four will advance until, like I said, at the end of the, that round, at the end of those four weeks of voting, we'll be down to 16 bills. Okay. All right, Francis, stay with me. I'll talk to you briefly off air. I do appreciate this. Again, I want to give everybody a reminder on this. NCCivitas.org. It is important for you to read every one of these bills because I think it will give you some indication and also tell you who sponsored the bills. Some indication of what, well, what passes as thinking and consideration in Raleigh from time to time. You are listening to Viewpoints in the talk station, FM 107 AM 1240. And our thanks to, uh, again, Francis DeLuca, director of the JWP Civitas Institute. And by the way, congratulations to Andrew Lawson Hayes, the son of, uh, well, Chris Hayes, here on uh, every Friday afternoon. I don't think we'll be talking to Chris this week. Stay tuned. You're listening to Viewpoints. Viewpoints.